Last time I got my uh, common mode problem solved, uh, maybe, uh, and in this video I'm going to look at the uh, cable movement or the cable rubbing noise source. The test setup for this one is pretty simple. I'll just have a piece of test wire hooked up to uh, one of the inputs of the ECG, then I'll uh, rub the insulation on it and see what kind of noise comes out. And I'm going to try uh, some wires with a few different types of insulation and uh, see what kinds of differences they have. And again, the uh, reason I don't think it's uh, static electricity uh, is because I did not see a DC offset at the output when I only rubbed one of the wires. Uh, so with uh, static electricity, when two things rub together, electrons get rubbed off of one thing and onto the other, uh, which means that uh, there's going to be a charge buildup on one of the things. Uh, so if uh, that charge buildup is only on one of the inputs of the ECG, that should uh, translate to a DC offset at the output, but I didn't see that. My new theory is that the uh, insulation on the wire might be a little bit piezoelectric, uh, and that means that uh, when you bend or deform it, it generates a voltage. The uh, buzzer that I put on the uh, oscillator in the last video uh, uses a little piece of uh, piezoelectric ceramic in it, so when I apply a voltage to it, the uh, a little ceramic disc on the inside will bend, uh, and that generates the uh, sound. Now, I don't think that's completely crazy. I have heard uh, some stories about um, uh, certain types of wire insulation, uh, particularly uh, wires for wires that are used in uh, wire wrap construction like this, uh, having uh, piezoelectric effects. Um, so when uh, people would wire wrap uh, audio circuits, uh, the sound coming out of the speaker would end up vibrating the circuit board, vibrating the wires, and then generating more voltages inside the circuit and uh, messing up all sorts of things. And in particular, I found one type of uh, material used in insulation, uh, which I know I'm going to pronounce wrong. Uh, I got it written down here polyvanilidine fluoride, or uh, PVDF, um, which is used a lot in uh, wire wrapping, um, which has a pretty strong piezoelectric effect. Uh, so maybe uh, my wires are made out of that or something similar that has a uh, piezoelectric effect. Okay, let's try this out. So recording, power this on, and then I'll start rubbing that insulation. And nothing. And if you're wondering uh, what this stuff was, it sounds mostly like uh, white noise, which I'll get to in the next video. Alright, I think the reason that didn't work was because I had uh, no resistance in that path there, so uh, uh, any piezoelectric effects in this uh, test wire would just be generating currents flowing back and forth to ground um, without generating any uh, voltage at the input to, uh, to read. Uh, so I've added uh, some resistance in that path there. Added a little 1 mega ohm resistor there. Uh, so hopefully that will um, cause a voltage drop if I have any current flowing. And that that's different. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, that's 60 hertz. Alright, so I think that uh, resistor there also allowed any 60 hertz current to show up as voltage. And since I only had uh, one of the inputs uh, connected through that test wire, um, the 60 hertz only showed up on one side. Since it wasn't common mode anymore, uh, it could uh, get through the output. Uh, so now I've added a uh, second test wire. Uh, so now they should both be picking up the same amount of 60 hertz, and uh, that should show up as common mode to the input and uh, should get rejected. So it looks like it's picking up a bit more noise, and it picks up uh, even more when I uh, just touch either of the wires. Uh, uh, just touching the insulation will do it. Um, but it looks like it doesn't have anything to do with uh, rubbing the insulation. Uh, and it sort of looks like that might be uh, audio from radio that I'm picking up. Is at your local retail store. So I think the problem here is that uh, these two loops here are acting as uh, little antennas for uh, radio signals. Eventually I'm going to add uh, RF filtering to the input of my circuit. Uh, so this is actually going to be a pretty good setup to test that. Uh, but that will be in a later video. Uh, for now I want to get rid of that radio noise. Alright, so this looks like a big old mess, but really it's just the original electrode cable that I've been using. Um, but instead of connecting it to my body, I have uh, one mega ohm resistors between each signal electrode and ground. Uh, the other ends of these alligator clips uh, aren't hooked up to anything. Uh, they're just there to hold the resistors on. This time, uh, since the wires are uh, wound nice and tightly together, there's no loop in between them uh, to uh, pick up um, any RF noise as a loop antenna. I mean, so hopefully I shouldn't have uh, as much differential RF noise at the input. All right, now let's give this one a shot. That looks a little bit awful. More 60 hertz. So I think a lot of that had to do with um, bad connections. Uh, now I've clipped the alligator clips onto the uh, little bit of bare wire in front of the penny instead of onto the penny. And the other end of the alligator clips are uh, holding the resistors on. Um, so that has improved things a little bit. 
uh, I still have a bunch of 60 hertz noise coming in, but what's most important is that now I can actually uh, get that uh, electro cable rubbing noise. Uh, I'll start the recording over here so I can show you better. Uh, so now whenever I rub these uh, electro cables, I can uh, see a whole bunch of noise showing up on there. Let's see what it sounds like. And now I'm going to try it again with something that's uh, not conductive and also not attached to my body. So that sounds almost exactly like the sound of the, uh, of the pencil rubbing up against the uh, insulation. So this time I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, this time I'm going to uh, tap and rub on the insulation on these uh, alligator clip wires, which is uh, different from the insulation on uh, my electro cable. I have noticed that I'll pick up a different amount of 60 hertz if the pencil is just touching uh, these uh, alligator clip wires here, uh, but that does not happen when I touch this uh, wound together part of the uh, uh, cable. So I'll just have to pay attention and uh, try and separate that effect from the uh, um, cable rubbing effect. So uh, here we go, I'll tap on these a bit. So it looks a bit different here. So uh, you can see that I was picking up different amounts of 60 hertz depending on what wire I was touching. Um, and then here's where I was tapping on it. Uh, you can see little uh, lumps in the 60 hertz. So it does seem like there's a little bit of the same effect. I could still hear uh, the taps in the middle of here and I could still hear a little bit of the uh, rubbing um, in these sections. So it does look like the same thing is happening with those alligator clip wires. I could adjust the uh, common mode knob to uh, try and get rid of some more of the 60 hertz uh, and get a, a, a better listen at what's going on in there, uh, but I don't want to have to adjust it again. Um, and I think I do have enough data to show sort of what's going on here. So I don't have a solution to uh, the problem, but I do think I have a better idea of what's going on. Um, I think it is piezoelectric uh, noise. Maybe I could improve it a bit by using a cable, uh, sort of like this audio cable for my uh, electrodes. Uh, since then I wouldn't be able to rub the uh, insulation on the wires that are inside there. So I think for now I'm just going to not touch the cable and uh, move on with the project. And in the next video I'm going to talk about uh, all that white noise that I had when I had uh, nothing connected to the inputs at all.